massive forms out there that is just surreal, otherworldly. Sculptural, architectural. Insanely, ridiculously beautiful. And that's when I thought, okay, the story is in the ice. Somehow.詹姆斯巴罗格是国家地理学会的摄影师，始终尝试着把气候变迁的现象拍成照片。后来他发现，最值得记录的对象就是冰。As a guy who's been mountaineering for basically like my whole adult life. Uh, someone who's trained in uh, earth sciences, I never imagined that you could see features this big disappearing in such a short period of time. But when I did, when I saw that, I realized, my God, there's a powerful piece of history that's unfolding in these pictures, and I have to go back to those same spots. And the goal was to share the visual imagery, the evidence, uh, with the public, with the world, and hopefully people would recognize how fast the glaciers, how fast the planet is changing. 导演杰夫·欧洛斯基是台美混血，史丹福大学主修人类学，为这项拍摄计划投入六年时光。我妈妈是台湾人，还有我，我住在台湾差不多九个月。花费一年半才说服詹姆斯·巴罗格同意拍摄影片，但机器架设的技术问题让他们大伤脑筋。The essence of the camera systems is based on putting really delicate electronics in the harshest conditions on the planet. They have to withstand hurricane force winds, negative 40 degree temperatures. It's not the nicest environment for technology to be sitting out in. Rock! This is fantastic. Look at this. It's exactly what we wanted. Oh, this is the way to travel, my friend. We ended up installing about a dozen cameras in Greenland, five in Iceland, five in Alaska, and two in Montana. This here, what's playing right now, is, is one of the first calving events we ever saw. And this is very small in comparison to what we captured. This event took about seven minutes to break. It was huge. It was five football fields long, 1,500 feet long, and about 300 feet above the surface of the water. Oh, my God, a giant crack just formed. See that, that whole island is going away. There it goes, man. just a one hour period of time. 
and absurdly somehow fortunately captured an event that seldom is caught on film. 受伤的巨灵永远的躺下，被地球之幕给带走了。摄影师巴洛格坦诚，二十年前他其实并不相信气候变迁，总觉得那是电脑模型算出来的。But most importantly, I didn't think that humans were capable of changing the basic physics and chemistry of this entire huge planet. It didn't seem probable. It didn't seem possible. 但现在他千山万水，冒生命危险远征极地。The part of Greenland that's melting is out on the edges of the ice sheet, and that area is growing and it's moving higher up onto the ice sheet as the climate changes in that part of the world. You see all this water melting down through these Swiss cheese holes, and you see it melting down through the channels. It goes from little channels into big channels, and eventually everything drops vertically down through these big. Mulan Caverns goes down to the bottom of the ice sheet and out to the ocean. So when you can look at just six months or even just a year, and you can see photographs taken very, very frequently, and you can see how pieces of ice are changing one at a time, you you can see the process in action, and that's really powerful. It's amazingly powerful because you can um, you learn a lot more uh, when you can watch it like that than you do just from two photographs. And that's 2007. That isn't even 2005. In 2007, just two years ago, you couldn't see any of that mountain ridge over there. The thing is deflated tremendously. I mean, I don't know what the number of feet is, but it's a lot. I saw that glacier dying. It was like, wow, you know, we、uh, if a glacier that's been here for thirty thousand years or a hundred thousand years is literally dying in front of my eyes, you're very aware of the fact that. 导演和他的伙伴野外扎营三星期，结果目睹史上有记录以来最大的冰河崩解现象。You see, how, look at the whole thing. Face is 300, sometimes 400 feet tall. Pieces of ice were shooting up out of the ocean, 600 feet, and then falling. The only way that you can really try to put it into scale with human reference is if you imagine Manhattan, and all of a sudden, all of those buildings just start to rumble and quake and peel off and just. Fall over, fall over, and roll around. This whole massive city just breaking apart in front of your eyes.
So how big was this calving event that we just looked at? We'll resort to some illustrations again to give you a sense of scale. It's as if the entire lower tip of Manhattan broke off, except that the thickness, the height of it, is equivalent to buildings that are two and a half or three times higher than they are. That's a magical, miraculous, horrible, scary thing. I don't know that anybody's really seen the miracle and horror of that. When my daughters, Simone and Emily, look at me 25 or 30 years from now and say, what were you doing? When, when, when global warming was happening and you guys knew what was coming down the road, I want to be able to say, guys, I was doing everything I knew how to do.